going on guys? Day 13. Um, I entitled this one, You Call Me Master and Lord. But I'm going to read you something. I didn't intend to read, but I'm going to read it to you now. It's the first couple of verses from uh, John 13. It says, Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, <laughs> which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. Now, supper being ended, he goes, and you know what's going to happen here because you already read the, uh, the chapter. He's going to wash the disciples' feet. I want you to key in on the fact that now, suffer being ended. So he waited all that time to see if anybody was going to do it, and nobody did, which was crucial. If you know something needs to be done for God, don't, don't wait for him to tell you to do it. If you know something needs to be done for your fellow man, you can pray about it. I, I would advise you to pray before you do anything. But when God tells you move, move. When the Holy Spirit that's in you tells you to move, move. Do it. Now they didn't, which this is where they were, which is fine. We all have a progression. We don't all arrive and know everything, believe me. I know more now than I did five years ago. And five years ago, I thought I knew it all. Oh, I wish you could have talked to me back then, brother. I thought I had it all together, and believe me. As we live and learn and, and yield to the Holy Spirit, He clears up some stuff for us. It's not complete error, but what it is is that He gives us a different look. You know what look it is? Because before I was looking at it, but I wasn't looking at it with love. And that's the missing part. When we read this, we got to read it with love, man. I'm not blaming the disciples for not doing what they should have done. I, I probably wouldn't have done it either. I'm just seeing that now I got to move because I know better now. Anyway. So, uh, this is the part I want to key in on. It says, he says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye know these things, happy are ye if you do them. You can know it. If you don't do them, it, it doesn't mean anything. It, it doesn't mean nothing to know. To him to know to do good and doesn't do it, that's sin. That's Bible. So we have to know. The point I'm, I want to stress to you here is we call him Master and Lord, and we don't do anything that represent that to him. He washed the disciples' feet. I want you to key in on how he did it. He put the towel not on his arm like a waiter, he didn't drop it on the floor like a slave. He put it around his waist. That's how he dried it. He dried their feet with the towel that was wrapped around his waist. Why is that significant? Because in the armor of God, the belt that we put around our waist is truth. He's washing their feet with water, which is the word of God, and he's drying it off with truth. So you wash up with the word, and then you dry off with truth. That's your shower. That's it. You take a shower, make sure the water is the word of God, and then you dry off with the truth of God. That's what keeps you humble, that's what keeps you in love, and that's what keeps you in the center of His, of his will. Because we say He's our master, and sometimes we don't do anything He tells us to do. But we do a lot of things He don't tell us to do. That's why I said pray. Before you figure out what you're going to do for God. Because you can do the right thing the wrong way. And you can do the wrong thing the right way. And there's plenty of people in the Bible that can attest to that. So, this was week 13. Tomorrow will be the final day for me. And then Daryl will pick it up from there with 15 through 21. So as always, stay strong, stay focused, and stay safe.